I'm back, I'm bitch, back, I'm come test me. Y'all wanna hate that so ugly. Can't relate, that ain't my fault. What y'all have on last year, I bought. Calm, 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 y'all just wishing. Stick in my opinion, that's my mission. My, my first album, top the charts. Girl, girl, be quiet, so the show can talk. Into the O's of the night, say what? Oh, not. Some more, some more. Into the O's of the night, say what? Oh, not. Some more, some more. Into the O's of the night, say what? Oh, not. Some more, some more. Into the O's of the night, say what? Oh, not. Some more, some more. Into the O's of the night, say what? What's going on, you uh, It's Mel Tedda, I'm a Mel Tedda night. Yeah, and I'm the ghetto queen on this ACTV scene, keeping the ass so mean with the gangsta lean goo. And I'm here to talk to you about a couple of things. Y'all was running it up in the comments of my last video when I was covering baddies. <laughs> so I'm about to get right back into covering baddies. Y'all show me live. I'll show y'all the content. Girl, we'll be talking about on today's episode. Girl, we talking about J.O. Um, because she still got stuff to talk about regarding Biggie. <laughs> Girl, we're going to talk about On The Mac and Biggie allegedly wanting to set up. Well, it's not alleged. They saying it in this video, but I don't know how serious they are. But girl, they want to set up the gay boy to fight the other gay boy. Girl, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I don't know. Do they not like gay boys? Because they were saying some choice things about Miss Saucy Santana. <laughs> girl, what else we talking about on the docket? Hold on, let me look at my notes. We're going to discuss Natalie being on the charts. Girl, the TikTok charts. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just Billboard. And that's it. I didn't know it was Billboard and TikTok. Girl, when that become a thing? Girl, boom, honey. We're going to talk about Jayla, the Jayla hate train that's going on along. Choo choo. And how Automat is supporting her friend. Girl, we're going to talk about a couple of things. But let's get into what J.O. had to say regarding Biggie. And let's take a listen. <laughs> Why she do her like that? Why she hit her like that? Why she hit her for no reason? Why she hit her for no reason? Shut the f*** up. I hit her for a reason. And if y'all remember, then it ain't your season. None of your business. And I'll hit that f*** again and again and again again. Okay. Now it's Betty Betty shot a clock, Natalie. <laughs> the real question should have been... Why she keep jumping in people's fights? Why she laugh when people trying to cut people? Why she trying to replace them? She replaced them 50 times when she put the bit of OG and she followed the followed the baddies on the road and put her bags in her motherfucking car and drove there and then got evicted and then still keep putting her hands on people. And then why does she smack Smiley like that? Did anybody ask her that? Don't worry, I'll wait. I'm not giving y'all no light. I'm not giving y'all no light. Bitch, I'm light skinned. <laughs> I'm not giving y'all no light, but I'll kick a bitch in the fight when she already fighting. She can't see me. I'm out of sight. And no, no, ain't be my ass. No, no, ain't be my ass. No, no, ain't be my ass. <laughs> These guys want 10 minutes of fame. <laughs> we already famous. Thanks, Zeus. <laughs> well, we done seen what Miss JL without the B had to say. Well, I don't know if she ain't got a job, but I like J.O. Girl, word on the curb is, according to Natalie and Lemon Pepper Wings, is that they're looking for replacements, girl. Should they call J.O. without the B? Should they call her? Because technically, without Zeus, she ain't got no job. But I'm sure she was driving somewhere to go to work. Or maybe not. I don't know. But you know, I'm not, I'm not pressing J.O. because I like J.O. And I felt like, if anything, they should have said, um, uh, what's the girl's name? Um, um, cooked Foods. They should have sent Cooked Foods home over J.O. I like J.O. J.O. was eating them bitches up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Biggie needed that clock. She needed to know what time it was. So, J.O. without the B gave her that clock so she could check the time. But it seemed like all she was wondering was, why me? Why me? What I do? Girl, and Seki was sitting right there, standing right there, and ain't do nothing. Now, a lot of y'all are telling me that Seki pressed Kiva and not Kiva pressing Seki at the reunion. 
I don't know what y'all saw and what y'all heard, but I heard Kiva pressing second. But I don't know. It is what it is. I think it's about time Biggie learned how to fight if she's going to be on the show. Because she's still talking too much yin yang, talking too much trash. Biggie need to stay out the kitchen and learn how to turn up the heat with them fists. How are the Mac and Seki, her sisters, but she acting like the, you know, never mind, I'm going to keep that to myself. Child, then we got Natalie. Natalie over here talking about, okay, okay, no one, no one's downstairs ready. Bet. One thing about me is I'm about business. My time is my money. And since people want to waste my time, I promise you I will have new bodies here today. It's already happening and I will just bring girls on that are ready to do their big one. Nah. Bring in three replacements, bags packed. I'm tired of repeating myself. Girl, you ain't got really the road dogs on it to help you kick girls out the house. Last time you tried to kick girls out the house, they couldn't even say names in front of the broad's faces. Y'all had to have meetings upon meetings upon meetings in the bedroom to figure out who y'all wanted to kick out. Don't talk this hot shiz naive like you about to be about that bitch naive. Y'all had to have 15 meetings to figure out if y'all should get rid of the two foreign girls. Girl, whatever their name was, Slim and, and Fred, Frederica, whatever her name was. Or two two dishes in the sink. Girl, I don't know what her name was. And then it took y'all 19 meetings to figure out if y'all was going to get Gretchen out. But Gretchen left on her own accord. So, Miss Natalie, you ain't giving it up like that, ma. You really not. And to be quite honest, I don't see why not. You got Ivy on there. Tell Ivy to beat a bitch out. She look like she'll beat a bride out or, or pour a piss on her. Girl, y'all heard about Mel getting somebody to pour a piss on Ivy at the club? A hot mess. Girl, and they ain't enough six-figure income to be worried about some broad throwing piss on me. I wish a bitch would. What? Girl, where they do that at? The Zeus Network? No. Now that's TV. Nope. They have both, both shows. Both networks. They throwing piss on people. Girl, it wouldn't have been me. It wouldn't have been her. And it wouldn't have been you either. What? Guys, so then we get into these charts. Now, Natalie Nunn's song goes number one. TikTok for her song. No, number... Wait, I can't read. I'm I like these other bloggers. Hold on. Natalie Nunn's song goes number one on TikTok for her song Pose for Me, I Got Titties, and Something Something Else with My Money. I don't know the lyrics. Y'all going to have to tell me I don't know the lyrics. But number one on the TikTok charts, I, I mean, I guess that's a thing. Does that mean she making money? I don't know what that means. I don't TikTok. I don't. But congratulations, Natalie Nine. She on the TikTok charts. Girl, what? Then we get into Una Meg. With a post coming to Jayla's defense stating she's the same person, if not better. All this Jayla slander, I'm not feeling. She is the same, not if even better, okay? Remember, this is TV and edits can make you think many different things that are not true. You guys need to stop. I hate to see it. Girl, I don't... Well, there is sort of a hate train going on with Jayla because of the way she treated Biggie. Biggie ain't... ain't I don't know. You can't say Biggie ain't her weight class. Because Biggie bigger than her. You know what I'm saying? So, to be quite honest, it was, what was it? How, uh, it was Jolly the, Jean, Jolly the Green Giant, you know, versus the human. Right, that's a good analogy. A, a, analogy, analogy. That's a good one. Now, I like that one. I like it too. That's why I thought of it. <laughs> you got olive oil versus Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. From Dominican Republic, big Dominican, not the little one. She says it in her name. Her name is Biggie. Jayla is not Biggie's size. So how can Jayla get hate? Now that I'm thinking about it, I need to correct myself a little bit. How can Jayla get hate for checking Biggie? Someone that's four times her size. You know, when you th when you put it like that, Mona, you can't. Well, I bitch, I know. That's why I just said her whore. On top of that. Biggie, Biggie and, uh, what's the girl, the food in the kitchen. Biggie and the food in the kitchen 
need to keep their mouth shut if they don't want to get it locked. That, that's it. That's it. But the one thing y'all not acknowledging about Jayla is that Jayla fought everybody that she had a problem with. Y'all check Jayla for not checking um, uh, food in the kitchen. Hold on, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah that's right. Y'all check Jayla for not checking food in the kitchen. And I checked her too on the, on the episodes, to be quite honest. I checked her too. Y'all was mad that Jayla checked Biggie. Y'all was kind of excited when Jayla fought uh, Callie. Then Jayla fought Gretchen. Who else did Jayla fight? Jayla fought a lot of bitches, all different weight classes. And actually, the only one smaller than her was Gretchen. But Gretchen liked to scratch and take a bite out of your neck. She's vampiric. Interview with the vampire, Gretchen from BX, my name. You know, that's what, that's what her title would say. She would say that. Didn't Biggie say the N-word on a reunion? Girl. Anyways, I don't care about these girls no more. They on baddies. Bitch, throw them hands. You want baddies? Throw them hands. Stop throwing them. Stop throwing them words out your mouth. Throw them hands. So I don't care. I don't have no problem with Biggie. I mean, Jayla fighting Biggie, fighting Callie, fighting, fighting um, food in the kitchen. I don't care if food in the kitchen fought three broads. I don't care. That's the thing for me. I, now that I'm re reassessing the situation, that's the thing for me. Jayla was trying to check her temperature. But once, once um, food in the kitchen said her temperature was all hot, that's when Jayla stepped up. Oh, okay, so you're here to fight. Well, let me press you then. I commend Jayla. Jayla stood 10 toes down on all the bitches she wanted to fight. So I'm here for that. I love you, Jayla. Girl, but don't let nobody do that to your face again, ho. Don't let nobody do that to your face again. Period. Because that was a mess. Gretchen fucked her face up. That was a mess. Next topic, Bianca Bonnie and Asian Doll seem to go, seem to be going back and forth on Twitter. Uh, Bianca said, you're unemployed and angry. I'm sorry that happened to you. But Auntie B ain't got none else for you, Buki Bot. You tweeting me isn't going to get you on Midwest. Asian Nebraska says, you should have said all this on stage. Okay? Also, my house bigger up. Uh, you don't even have a car, nor your son. What? Ooh. Wait, hold on. Wait. Oh. Bianca, you have to fight her. You got to fight her. You got to fight her. I want to fight her for you, Bianca. But not really, because I like Asian Dow. Asian Dow stood in the paint. <laughs> Asian Dow stood in the paint. I like that. But no shade, Bianca stands in the paint, too. Except for when 19 bras wanted to fight her. I mean, I wouldn't have did that. I would have whooped all their ass. I mean, that's just me, though. But Bianca, not me. You know what I'm saying? I would have whooped all their ass. Asian, Asian the brat, and Asian whatever, whatever, whatever she is, Asian the, the brat, the doll, Asian whatever the hell she is, I would have whooped all their ass. What? And, and, Biggie wouldn't have snatched my goggles off my head. What? And and DTB wouldn't have got no sneak in. What we talking about? All them bras would have been laid out. It would have been called the Mona Simone Show. What? What we talking? I would like to see Bianca and Asian the Brad on baddies. Make that happen. Uh, what's her name? I was about to call her Monica. Make that happen, Natalie. Get Asian the Brad and Bianca. Bianca ain't coming back to baddies. I know she said she wanted to in a reunion, but Bianca ain't that bold. She ain't that bold. She'll fight a Mariah Lynn. And yeah, she fought Sapphire. I don't know. She's wishy-washy. I don't get her. I don't get her. Why she leave the reunion? I don't get her. I really don't. She was out there for everything else and kicked DTB in the mouth. But as soon as Asian, the brat, I mean, or the doll, whatever her name is, come out, girl. I don't know. I can't call it. Can y'all call it? I can't call it. At the end of the day, Saucy, count your fucking blessings. I hope they bring you back for this reunion. Because I promise you, you not beating Jonathan. We're going to violate you. No. You're getting beat down to the ground. Your big ass gonna be out of breath. You talking about some catch your breath? You couldn't catch one all night. You were sitting in the no cat. It's hot. No cat. The nigga couldn't catch his breath all night, and you talking about me catching <gasps> breath? 
Are you talking about me? Catch your breath? Oh gosh, I love saucy style. Stand up in there. Ahí va tú con el fucking Natalie, coño. ¿Cuál está Natalie, coño? I like saucy. I like saucy. No, she's lying. Every time, bro. Every time. No, every. Team Saucy, he clocked all of y'all. Yeah, we know, boy. He's messy as hell. He need to clock into the gym. Because there's nothing to clock over here. Nothing. Arms? Let me see him throw them shits. Like, Let I Let me can't. see him throw them no shits. There's no shit. It's two poor bitches in Chicago right now talking about us. And it's like, babe, you couldn't even get our second season. You couldn't even get three episodes. Like, I don't even want to go back and forth with you, Kiva. You, you know, because honestly, no shit. I had to slap that bitch, but Nuno, I like Nuno more than you. We did not want your ugly ass back. <laughs> Sorry, don't report my life. But what I'm saying is, your wigs always look bald. Like, how your wig look bald? Like, like I don't get that. That never made sense to me. But since you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. You talking about justice? Justice for them fucking lace fronts that you be putting on your head. Justice for that body, babe. Justice for that car you keep crying about on TikTok. Because I'm, I'm sure nobody want to know that you keep getting stuck in the middle of Chicago on the side of the road. Hold on, I got something to say, cousin. Give me, give me. Girl, so what y'all feel about that? That's what on the Mac and um, Boogie had to say about, um, what's the boy named Polynesian to us? Do y'all really think Jonathan is going to fight Polynesian to us? And Natalie was on the phone where in the car driving with them. She ain't say nothing, but I like... Uh, I like Saucy Stop that. But then Biggie called down and said, no, she lying. Natalie ain't corrected when she said she was lying. But here's my thing. Now, I thought that they might have a problem with the gay boys. But clearly they don't if they if they cool with Jonathan. And they cool with uh Babylon. The one with the the one with the face stuff. The the one with the the one the one with the the, the face. Yeah, Babylon. Um yeah, so they seem to be cool with them. Maybe they just don't like it when gay boys clock their tea or their coffee or their Kool-Aid or extra sugar, whatever the hell they made of. I don't know. But, you know, Saucy, the only thing I would have to say about Polynesian Sauce was that he was clearly biased. He didn't like Biggie. And he didn't like, um, what's the what's the girl name? On the Mac. On the Mac be looking real cute on these videos, though. So do um, Smalley, a.k.a. Biggie. But on, like... Like, on TV, not so much for Biggie. On the Mac, girl, on the macaroni and cheese, she be hitting it. She be on the macaroni and cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I don't think that's cool for them to be saying that they about to get Jonathan to be that Polynesian sauce. I don't even think Jonathan would do that. That's not cool. In my mind, um, Polynesian sauce ain't say nothing to Jonathan. I mean, Jonathan would beat, beat the brakes off of um, Polynesian sauce. But um, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. You know, I have an interesting question. Where was all this heat for Nene Leaks? Where was all this heat for um, um, P. Diddy brother? Not brother, but you know, his his concubine. Whatever they are together. I don't know what they are together. You know who I'm talking about, though. Stevie J. <laughs> no, stop it. Let me stop it. Stevie J was cute back in the day. Ah, Stevie J. Was cute back in the day when he wasn't. Ah, you finish it. I can't finish it. You finish it. <laughs> God I cracks me up. I'm so funny. But God, I don't know nothing about no Stevie J girl. All I do know is that he's still kind of cute in an ugly way. You know what I'm saying? Like one of those faces that you don't want to wake up next to in the morning, but you will. Because when the sun hit it, he kind of cute. But when the sun not on it and you looking at his eyes through the dark, you have to question whether or not you should have been there in the first place. Am I the only one? I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. Let me stop. I love everybody on Zeus. They funny to talk about. But, um, yeah, they didn't have a lot of heat for all the other hosts, but they got a lot of heat for Saucy. Saucy was clocking everybody tea. I don't think Jonathan should beat up him uh, at or. And, um... If Saucy come back, he just needs to not be biased. You know, he just needs to not be biased. Other than that, girl, what do y'all think about all this stuff that's going on, cans on? Girl, the show is practically over and we still talking about the baddies. Shout out to the Zeus Network for making it run rampant on these hoes, even in the midst of their filming. And I just have a feeling that Midwest is about to be 29 more girls. And that's just tiresome. 
Get rid of Biggie. We don't need her. We don't need her. We really don't. Yeah, we don't need her. There's a couple of other girls we don't need. But anyways, leave your comments below this video. And you know, I want y'all to do me a favor. I think I want to start giving y'all bitches advice. Because <laughs> I'm a funny bitch. <laughs> Girl, and some of y'all be going through stuff. So, what I want y'all to do is hit me up below in the comments house and let me know what y'all want to hear me talk about. If y'all need some advice, y'all know from a real bitch. <laughs> Girl, ask me. Ask me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I, my opinion now. Of course, it'll be in a comedic way. And of course, I'm not nobody's therapist or no psychiatrist. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. Girl, I think that'll be cute. Um... Yeah, that'll be real cute. And, um, oh, let me get that video. Somebody send me a video. How do it? How you do it? I'll be right back. I'm back, bitch. Come test me. Y'all wanna hate that so ugly. Can't relate. That ain't my fault. What y'all have on last year, I bought. Competition. Y'all just wishing to give my opinion. That's my mission. My first album top the charts. Girl, be quiet so the show can start. M to the O to the now say what? Side to the mo to the knee, I'm her. M to the O to the now say what? Side to the mo to the knee, I'm her. Mona. So Mona, Mona. Yeah, right. Hey, Mona. Say Mona, say Mona. Shout out to my bookie, Gigi. What's going on, Gigi? Yeah. So listen, if there's anybody else out there that can rap my can intro to one, send me that video at Team Mona Simone on NST to the gram. Right? Girl, that'll be who I Let's talk about it. And if y'all want some advice from a real bitch, girl, put the comment below in the video and I'll talk about her in the next video and I'll shout you out, bitch. Well, don't be an old punk, bitch. <laughs> girl, get up on that mic, girl. Get up on that mic. I'm back, bitch. Come test me. Y'all wanna hate that so ugly. Why can't relate? That ain't my fault. What your hair for last year? I boot. Competition, y'all just wish it. To get my opinion, that's my mission. My first album, top the charts. Girl, be quiet so the show kids do it. Ah, girl, anyway, I love you all. Later. <laughs>